You know, when I first heard they were making this and Tom Hardy was gonna be in it, I got a little bit excited because I love Tom Hardy. He's great. And part of what I like about him is that he seems to be a bit of an artist. Like, he seems to care about film. And in the last few years, he's been doing a lot of smaller projects too. He's been doing TV like Peaky Blinders and Taboo and movies like Locke. And even when he played a supervillain before, it was in a Nolan movie. And that guy really cares about film. So, you know, he doesn't just take any project these days. If he does take one, there's usually some artistic merit to it. And I was hoping they would do something a little bit different with this movie. And I heard some rumors and made some assumptions, but they pretty much all ended up not being true. I thought I heard this was gonna be R rated. Well, it's not. It's PG-13. I also thought they were making a sort of standalone movie, not really a part of the MCU, you know, like Deadpool. And it sort of is, but I heard some whispers about them actually tying it into the MCU. And the last thing I hoped for was that since Hardy signed on, the script might actually be something a little bit better than your usual Marvel movie. Well, it's not. It's not even as good as the better ones. And I guess that's on me for making assumptions, listening to rumors and daring to hope. This thing is your bog standard PG-13 Marvel movie. And you know what? The 12 year olds in the audience loved it. I, however, did not. I just didn't really care about any of it. I was thoroughly underwhelmed. That being said, I don't think it was terrible. Like the pacing was great, it never bored me. Tom Hardy as Venom works very well. And it did have a few good moments here and there. But it just looks and feels and sounds exactly like every other run of the mill Marvel movie. Down to the generic evil bad guy. I mean, Riz Ahmed is completely wasted potential in this. That guy can act his ass off. But in this, he's just your average bad guy who does average bad guy things for average bad guy reasons. I like Michelle Williams in this though, but she's not really given much to do either. And there were some pretty obvious plot issues too that just felt like way too sloppy writing. Like the lack of security cameras in a high-tech research facility. What? I really feel like I might have actually missed a scene because that part made no sense to me. Like, did I miss a scene? I don't know. I don't think so. This movie was also surprisingly not that funny to me. But as I said, the 12 year olds in the audience were having a blast. And it really hit me that these movies aren't made for me. I'm not the target audience. Kids are. And as far as Marvel movies go, Deadpool is more of a franchise aimed at me. And I enjoyed both of those movies quite a bit. This though I did not enjoy. I sat through it and didn't actively dislike it. But I don't really have a lot of good things to say about it either. As I said though, Tom Hardy in this role works. I like that character. But I like Venom to be a little bit edgier and not so PG-13. I mean, he's a big black alien monster who rips people's heads off. So, you know. And a few moments between Eddie and Venom were really good. But there weren't that many. And they each lasted like two seconds. That being said, I'd love to see a Venom movie with a better script than this. Like a really good script. Because this was about as bland as they get. It worked fine, but that's about as much praise as I'm gonna give it. Overall though, pfft, it's whatever. Would I recommend it? Not really. Unless you got a soft spot for PG-13 Marvel movies, I guess. Sure. So maybe skip this one or don't. We're not your dad.